Car troubles, car troubles, and <laughs> Norm will. I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's go walk and talk about this. We had some stuff going on with our cars recently, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, mine for a long time. So, recently, you and I took a day trip. Yeah. And we both had our vehicles worked on, right? Mm-hmm. What'd you have done? Dropped each other off. So, my car... So, this is kind of an update, this part. Of yeah, it. it for a long time. The Dodge. Every time I close the trunk, it pops back open. I have to close it again and it pops back open. Yeah. Sometimes I can get it... If I'm really quick, <laughs> I can get it out in the first one. But sometimes it takes 13 tries. <laughs> so this is the, have that. Tell, tell them what car is. It's the Challenger. Challenger. Yeah. yeah. And it's an electronic problem, and we have it's still under warranty. Yeah. And I bought an extended electronic warranty. Yeah. Please continue. So they checked that out, and they said that the antenna that's on the inside of the trunk was all messed up. So this is the. I don't know how. But now, what's so the function of that antenna? Uh, it just figures out, it senses whether the trunk is closed or not, and whether you have the fob or not. Oh, I see. So it just wasn't working right. Confusing elect electronic, yeah. electronic So that, stuff. and then when I was in the car, it kept saying the fob has left the car, <laughs> <laughs> so it would keep bonging the thing, and it was really annoying. And they said that that was probably due to the fact that I, when I get in the car, I throw it in my cup holder. And there's an LED light ring in my cup holder that interferes with the sensor that's in the car that recognizes the fob. So they said, just don't put your uh, keys in the cup holder. Okay, <laughs> your well, fob in the cup well holder. now hang on. So I don't, and it's fine. Further it's, problem you had was the car just wouldn't start because it didn't recognize the fob. Which because was because of? Well, I don't know. I think that they tinkered with the. Um, I think that the back sensor had something to do with the front sensor. So that being messed up just you, made you the front sensor not You mean the trunk, se the trunk sensor correctly. and all. Okay, so it's a, elect a, I almost said electronical. <laughs> so, you did. <laughs> electronic confusion, yeah. whatever. Exactly. So your fob, uh, so, so we reported this, we talked about this in a, in a video before and everybody yeah. wanted to say the battery, which no, we knew they were going to say. Yeah. It wasn't the it wasn't because the fob I could put battery. The fob up and, and start the car. And it was a, it was the battery was only a year or two old. The car was only a year or two old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's two years old. And what we learned and we and we explained that on a recent video that if, if you have that problem, stick your push the fob into the start button. Yeah. It, every time it starts right and up. And it'll start if you have that yeah. same problem, it'll start right up. Yeah. You're just literally pushing the button with the butt end of the fob. Yeah, use it like it's a key almost. Yeah. So <laughs> All right, so they they got everything straightened out for you, and it works now? Yep, it's perfect. Cool. Every time. I love it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And I went to get my um, inspection done today, and the guy threw my keys in the cup holder. <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> don't do Not that. Not this again. <laughs> but it was fine. But I do like that little light ring you have in your cup holder. Yeah, that's pretty, I guess cool. it's pretty cool. There's literally nowhere to put stuff in your car. I know. Little things. Well, there's that there's little... There's a transmission. And there's that little box that you can open up. Yeah. But if I put stuff in there, I forget about it. And then I find it like years later. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is where I put that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's not good. Anything else with your car? Nope. Is that it? I love you my You still car. love it. Yeah. You've had it for a year almost. Yep. I bought it on my birthday in November. in three weeks. I spent my... Here's, okay, here's another thing. My friend Jed... He, I was talking. We were talking to him about this the other day. He saw me getting my. I was getting my tires changed, which I want to talk about in a minute. And he asked me about buying, or I was telling him about buying that car. And I said, "Man, I, was, I hate doing that. Yeah, I spent half the day in a damn dealership. Yeah. And I, you know, these guys didn't give me anything. They would not acquiesce on any of my requests. Till you walked out. I said, "I want tires. <laughs> I want new tires. The tires are bald." And I want yeah, they were a couple of other things. One or mm -hmm. one m m headlight minor thing. Replaced oh, headlight it replaced because it was it was ruined. It was wet inside. And, yeah. And the LED was ruined in it. And I said I want a thousand bucks off this price. <laughs> <laughs> so 
the, the dealer, the uh, they were like, mm, salesman, no, the salesman so. comes back after 20 minutes. You know how they do, they put the squeeze on you. 30 <laughs> minutes and he says, he's, he's noticeably nervous and embarrassed. He said, I said, all right, so what do we got? He said, I'm really um. sorry. They, they can't do any of that. I said, we, except what? What do you mean? <laughs> They just, they just can't do any of that. Margins are too tight, and I was, I was pissed because that's ridiculous. Yeah. You make a sale, you do one or you well, do something. something. Do yeah. something. Give me something. And I'm not a cheapskate. I just wanted to. It was a brand, practically brand new car. I wanted it to be what it should. Yeah. A dealership when they have a, uh, yeah, they a get car that's a year them. old, they should make that thing really nice really nice yeah. pristine and sell it if it, yep. if it requires putting a larger a yep. bigger sticker and price. that headlight didn't even work but it was yeah. a special headlight too bad it didn't work. so what did i do i'm not an idiot i got up i called jen she'd been i'd been keeping her posted on it. this was her dream car and so we i wanted to talk to her about it we're not huge on surprises and so yep. i called her up i said all right see you later and I walked. I was like, no, don't leave. I called, I called her from my truck. I was like, they won't do anything. I'm walking. And she was like, no, please. And I got to my truck, key and ignition. And, and of course out. they came running out. And I got new tires and I got new headlights. And they wouldn't go. They, they really, they, like, they were the really, $1, they're really <laughs> pushing on the price because it was a good price. So, I, all right. So that okay. the part of the story there is my friend Jed was like, man, I, I would never do that. You buy your car over the phone. And I was yeah. like, oh yeah, I think he told me that before. And it's <laughs> really smart. And I'll never do that again. Yeah. I will you figure uh, out exactly what you want. You call him up. You say, this is what I want. I want to sign one thing. And I said to him, he said done. he bought his out of another town, you know, we're yeah. in Wilmington. He said, I think he said he got his in truck in Pinehurst. Yeah. He got everything he wanted and he delivered the car. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just say that? Yeah. Okay. Well, so I said, well, how, you didn't test drive it? He said, they're all the same. Yeah. I, 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 know what I, I knew what I wanted. So I was thinking, next time, I'll just go test drive the car mm -hmm. and I'll say, I want this, this, and this, but I'm leaving. You know, if I want, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. if I want to test drive the car, yeah, just say no. I'm not going to wait for the clearance. I'm not going to wait for your sales manager to approve my request. Yeah. You call me. Yeah. If if it's if I get if I'm getting this car, yeah. that's the way to yeah, do it. That's, yeah. yeah. So you don't sit there and go back and forth. Yep. And uh, anyway, so I wanted to talk lastly about my truck, which is a Toyota. Isn't that funny that we have, they're both American Chinese cars. Yeah. But everybody wants to say, you shouldn't buy a Toyota, that's a Chinese car. And we can argue all day about that. Japanese. Japanese. Japanese, sorry. Yeah. It was well, Chinese parts, oh. right? I don't know. Lots of Chinese parts. So. Hencho in Mexico. It's, <laughs> these, these cars that's are, Mexico. <laughs> cars are, cars are international now. And anyway, I'm not a smart enough guy to know all the damn specifics about each component, but it's just ridiculous. The whole, you're, you're an idiot for, we had a, you had an uncle that was so anti-Japanese that, uh, I mean, it was, he was crazy about it. He, would get, he was mad about it. He drives Japanese cars now. Now he's like, yeah. 30 years later, he's like, anymore. man, these cars are engineered really well. So <laughs> he's driving Japanese. So, uh. You know, it's just how it goes. It's just, anyway. So I have Lots a Toyota, objective. you have a Dodge. A lot of people say, Dodge is junk. It's so not junk. Yeah, and then a lot of people I say, how could, <laughs> why wouldn't you have a Dodge? Why do you have a Toyota? Well, we got both, come on. <laughs> and you love your truck. <laughs> Bases are covered. I just love, and I loved my Toyota. having an old truck. I don't need anything new. I loved all my Toyotas. All right, yeah. so what what was my experience i had to have my tires changed and that's so painful oh yeah and she's push 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 you're gonna kill yourself well you're not you need, you need tires. To have good tires yeah they were like bald you were right yeah you were right you got to a point where we were going out of town and i wanted to take my truck yeah you but could. my tires were not yeah. they didn't have, they weren't bald they were just they were bad just, they didn't have a lot of meat left on so i say okay i'm going to get tires <laughs> I figured it would cost me $850 yeah. like the last time, but it didn't. 
Yeah, they were on sale. Yeah, so I got I got a, a little better deal than last time. Yep. Still got good tires. Um, so I haven't had those tires taken off of that car, that truck, for months, six months. What do you mean? That was the last time I got a rotation. Uh, and so they take off the tire, they replace my tires, the wheels, they hadn't, put, nobody's pulled the wheel up, wheels off. Right. And uh, there hadn't been a lug wrench in there. And uh, they replaced my tires, drive away, and you and I were at the post office, and I backed up, and what, what did thought, you think? I thought he hit somebody, because it was like, crunch. And she's, and I thought, oh, no. she's thinking that, and I'm thinking, oh, crap, my tire, my wheel just fell off. Yeah. These guys didn't torque down my wheels. They just, uh, so it felt like something it like did. bad. Yeah. What had happened, <laughs> she went in the post office, came back. I'm backing up. My wheel was turned to, to angle my truck. I rolled over my own hub. It had just fallen off when we yeah. pulled up and parked. Yeah. And I rolled over it, and it was it made the car jump up and crunch. <laughs> truck. And so I went back. Amazingly, I was ready for you know to deal with an issue. Yeah. And the guy was like, "Oh, hang on." <laughs> he, he, you that was him. crazy. He turned around. I knew he was going to do that for he some reason. He walked three paces behind him, where he had been standing when I got his attention. He walked over to me. Well, he said, hang on. He walked back to where he was, reached in the bin, and pulled out a hub cover. The exact that one. That fit perfectly, yep. color, size, shape, yep. my 2006 Tundra. <laughs> it was crazy. Stuck it on. He said, Good I coat. hope that wasn't too long of a wait, sir. <laughs> Jokingly. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. I'm really sorry that that was such a hassle for you. <laughs> so we hadn't gotten three blocks away and it got replaced. But guess what? We drive home. I get out of my truck. No it's hub gone. cover. <laughs> I go back and there's a jackass who's going to explain to me how it's my fault. I said, no, no, no. The other guy had a hub cover. Go get me a hub cover. They're over, they're over there in that bin. He said, no, he had, that has been here for three years. Oh, jeez. He said, so that was the last one. There was a set of four that was been there for three years. And I was just still reeling at how remarkable that was. Yeah. I said, well, look, what do we do? You guys need to pay for this. He said, well, uh, you know, this, this stuff just happens. I said, what do you mean? He said, yeah, somebody took that wheel off and they did some damage to that thing. You know, when you got your oil changed or something, I said, my oil changed? Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't take my wheel off to change. And he said, and whatever, whoever damaged it, they put it back on, and, for, and it sticks, and then the, the poor guy here that takes it off, uh, that's when it fails. But, but they're the ones that always do your rotations and everything. You bought your tires Exactly, that's what I time. told him. It's like, you guys are the only ones that have touched yeah. this car. <laughs> Trust. Yeah, that's what I told him. I said, it doesn't hold water. He said, he, he, he wanted to argue with me. I said, look, don't even. And I said, I, I won't compensate, be compensated for this. But it's a hassle. So now I gotta, right. I'm just going to buy a damn $13 hub cover and put it on and be done with it. I'm not going to go to Toyota. So anyway, so what did then do? I got home, knucklehead. Then I realized they had left all my valve covers off. Oh, yeah. So I don't have one freaking valve cover on my truck. So it's Costco, and uh, Ooh, name I'm name. not going to apologize for using Costco. It's, it's <laughs> is what I, yeah, I don't have, I'm not a millionaire, so. <laughs> anyway, those are our car stories, truck stories, etc. cetera. And uh, again, we drive whatever we drive that drives, Dodge, Toyota, et cetera. Yeah, they're all good. All right, so now, here's another Dodge. Isn't it lovely? This, my friends. The orange shag. You may have seen, ooh, there's movie props. Don't look at those. In fact, this whole thing is a movie prop. Orange shag. <laughs> Guess the year. Guess the year, people. 1900. And? 81. Okay. And by the way, this is a Dodge 440 engine in here and that's a newer uh, probably Chinese junk uh, uh, carburetor and it was leaking and there are eight screws on the top that that uh, Walker's employer tightened down 
and uh, that stopped the leak. You can see it all around the gasket. There's two gaskets, that one down there and one right there, and it was leaking gas, which is not good. You don't want to have an engine fire. So there you go. Dodge 440. 81,000 miles. I'd like to sell this vehicle when I'm done using it in a movie. Uh, probably sell it for 3,000. <laughs> so we got, we bought this thing. Some nice ladies sold it to us. And they had a carburetor installed in recently. And the thing doesn't start. So I had uh, this. Now, if you, some of you don't aren't familiar with these old cars I know most of you gearheads are but there's the cover the console so you're sitting you know over the transmission here and the engine and uh, there it is there's a carburetor in case you've never seen one and there's the carburetor filter in the housing you just put that on top of there but this is not starting and we're going to show you what we've what we've got so try to Walker's friend uh, Walker's employer her employer pointed out that it wasn't starting because it's not tilting. See that? Now keep doing it. Wow. A magic car. is taking that damn thing off. That's the only problem. So you're going to have to do that. Hey buddy. What are you doing? No, no, no inside board. Wow, that's loud. Yeah. So we're going to take okay. this on set, and then we're going to have to move it around. We're going to have to take the damn console off. Oh, because man. this thing, and maybe somebody can help me with this, is not doing what it should on when I initially tried to start it. So, anyway. Huh. Try, it one, try it now. <laughs> See, it opens up. Yeah. I think somebody... Uh, put something together backwards there. Maybe somebody can explain that to me. Man, that would be nice. <laughs> These guys are all so smart and they're telling me everything I'm doing wrong all the time. So maybe uh, there's a gentleman out there who would tell me How to do something it right. useful. Yeah. All right. So that's our. those are our car stories for the day. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you for demonstrating, Vanna. Absolutely. Jenna. Anytime. Right. Any more car stories? I don't think so. We just wanted to share that with you and uh, tell us your car stories and teach us something. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know. Okay? Thanks for watching, everyone. You have a lot to choose from. <laughs> Be sure to check out all the links in the description and stuff below the video. And we'll talk soon.